All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to mix it up a little bit. If you look at your agenda, we have a speaker coming up um, who's going to be sharing her insights with us. We're going to be talking about the growing influence of women over the world of wealth and investment. Um, and we've got somebody who's eminently qualified to talk about that here today. She has been uh, nominated and awarded the Business Woman of the Year, built up her own businesses in public relations, in marketing, uh, you know, which sounds a lot like some people call that the soft side of business, but a lot of the clients were in the hard science business like Aerospatial, Alcatel, High Tech. And she's going to be joining us today to share some of her insights about this influence, this growing influence of women in, in business and investment and how we can extend that. We would like to welcome Leila Allerton. She is a board member of Alucar Holdings and president of Alvi Medica from here in Turkey. Please come and join me. All right, I'm taking over the session, ladies and gentlemen. We're very tightly scheduled today, and so Harry to Tommy Davies is, is actually got, somehow got double booked. And so he's doing a class, and so I am more than thrilled to step in and take over his role. Uh, not often I get to sit down with a business woman of the year. Uh, my wife is in, is, is in business, and she is like the woman of the day every day in my life, and she never lets me forget it, but rare a businesswoman of the year. So we want to talk about women, uh, women in business, and because obviously, you know, you've been there. You've overcome the hurdles, you've overcome the challenges, uh, and really gone to the heights of business in Turkey. Um, but I'm sure that you had to face challenges along the way that a lot of men don't. Like, business is challenging for anybody. Uh, but you had a lot that you had to do, and so maybe you can tell us a little bit about your story, uh, and then we can get into some, you know, what that has taught you about how we can help women in business and where you see their exercise. So let's start with your story. Can you give us a little bit, a, a little bit of that? We've only got about ten minutes here today, um, so you know the the short not, version, not many people the highlights. Seem to be interested in women in business, it seems. Uh, is it over here? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well done. Okay. I said, uh, not many women seem to be interested uh, in how we are doing, but anyhow, we have men uh, as an audience, which is even better, because they would understand maybe our challenges. Well, we are usually uh, a minority in the meetings, especially the higher you go up in the corporation, uh, the more women are the minority, mm -hmm. so they don't belong to the club. Yeah. They are not feeling at ease because they are always alone yep. and uh, many times misunderstood or not understood. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, it's challenging and it's uh, lonelier at the top. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we need to get stronger and more assertive. That doesn't mean aggressive, which is being confused many times. Yeah, where, where does that strength come from? Like, where do you go for that strength? I mean, it's fine to say just be strong, but, uh, you know, it's not as easy as it sounds. Where, where did you find that strength? Well, to... practice makes perfect. Okay. The more you practice, the yeah. more perfect you become, and you try to convince mm -hmm. more, maybe you have a lot more to do than others, and uh, with your different approaches, ideas, and uh, views, I think you get more and more accepted and respected. I think women bring a different point of view, yeah. a different um, form of thinking, and uh, they always have a different plan B or C. Right. Therefore, they are respected, mm -hmm. therefore they add. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see today that the more corporations have women at the decision-making level, the more successful they are. Okay. The now, numbers show it. We're you know, in your rise, when you got into business, were, were there women in your life who were able to share with you or help, help lend to your strength or to give you advice on, you know, you say women do things differently. Were there, were there at that time, were there other women in your business community that could help you out? Or were you really having to blaze a path out there and, you know, try Not many, but I always uh, followed the world, what's yeah. happening, and I was always uh, learning, reading about women who made it, mm -hmm. about the role models. I were, remember. Were they Turkish women or were they women no, in other countries? No, they were women in other countries. At that time, there weren't yeah, many. Yeah, 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 especially in the States where I studied. Okay. So I went to the American Women Economic Development Conference where there were 
many, many uh, wonderful speakers with 3,000 uh, uh, audience as only women. Mm -hmm. So those role, role models influence you a lot. They, they give you, they, they inspire you. They, uh, they become like, you know, the, uh, if the she made it, why shouldn't I make it? They, they, it's a big empowerment to see role models. That's why I'm out there to, to inspire younger ladies yeah. Yeah. to do it. And so I guess I, if, you can ask, if I can ask you two questions, one looking up and then, you know, looking down to help others. Can you remember one of your, one of those people that inspired you? That would be the first question. And then the follow-up would be, how are you, are you using that now to mentor or support women in the business community here in Istanbul, Turkey broadly? I, I do a lot of mentoring, mm -hmm. uh, even to men, why not? Yeah. I don't differentiate. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I make part of Kagider, which is the Women Entrepreneurs Association. I am a founding member. Yep. And I do a lot of talks for Turkish Win. And uh, they, they have sections like Campus Win in every university. The, the group of young girls yeah. uh, form the Campus Win. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm very generous in, in really talking in all those milieus so that I can inspire or I can, you know, suggest what I know to share what I know. But I have yeah. been inspired by uh, the ones in the States. In the states, in particular, do you are you are you working with people? So, so I, I understand speaking to a group. Do you speak? Do you work with women on a one-on-one -on -one basis? And are they coming to you and confiding um, that they're facing situations now that maybe you didn't have to face? Are there new things that are happening in terms of women in business? And are you are you uh, you know how do you advise? Can you give us an example of where a woman's sure. come and said, you know, I'm not telling anybody else, but I really need your help. Like something sure. Like that? Yeah? Sure. How to handle sexual harassment, yeah. how, how to handle uh, the abuse, or how to, how to um, uh, ask for a career uh, advancement mm -hmm. plan. Uh, and I'm very approachable through the social media. Today, uh -huh. LinkedIn, Instagram, all those tools make you very approachable okay and uh, of course I cannot answer to each and every one of them yeah. but it also works as a hotline mm -hmm. I mean everybody can approach me and, and do people open up more <clears throat> through those channels are they more honest or more you know kind of tell you the deeper darker secrets uh, of their soul? They, they tend to sometimes abuse it mm -hmm. but I don't let it uh, because it's limited time and limited, you know, how much yeah. I can do. Yeah. I can, I'm not a personal, I'm not a coach. You're not a life or, coach, you're not a psychologist. Yeah, exactly, not, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I know my limitations and yeah. they should know also their limitations. But mm -hmm. for example, the ones who are looking for a job, I would say send the CV to this and that person from HR. Right. Now, I, I, would, I, would, I would tend to help, definitely. Okay. So there's women in business, but then there's women in wealth and influencing wealth. And you know, we're all about the angel investment uh, ecosystem here. Uh, are, do you see more women getting involved in angel investment? Do you see more women having access to wealth where they could then deploy it and make decisions about their own investments and mentor companies? Is that starting to happen in Turkey yet? That's very, very uh, premature in okay. Turkey, I would say. Don't forget that the accumulation of wealth is just very recently. And now, mm -hmm. uh, women can also think about where to invest yeah. uh, intelligently. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I see, for example, in Kagidar, there are lots of uh, uh, women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And once they sell their company, maybe they 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 then can think about how to place that money yeah. in different projects. Yeah. But uh, the ecosystem is there. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's really developing very fast. Yeah. And especially women in tech, uh, uh -huh. women who, who developed an application mm -hmm. or an e-commerce site, those are the ones who are also growing very fast. Okay. And they, they are the ones who will be, I think, leading that group. Yeah. So given there's not many women, you know, influencing the wealth yet, are you able to explain to those, those young women entrepreneurs how to deal with um, investors? 
<clears throat> and male advisors and say, listen, ladies, you want to get funded, you know, it's different. You know, this is how, this is some, some extra things you have to keep in mind. What are those things? Uh, we are doing a lot of workshops at yeah. the startup hubs. You know, they have... But they what, what do you tell them in those workshops that's different than you would tell a male entrepreneur? Uh, different than a male entrepreneur, I wouldn't say anything different okay. because money has no, uh, no, no sex, no gender, right? And ideas have no sex or gender either. Mm -hmm. okay. They can be just good or bad, right. profitable or not. Okay. So uh, it's. So, I mean, in Silicon Valley, there's been a, a scandal, a wave of scandals. It's coming out now that successful entrepreneurs who are also angel investors were, as you say, you know, sexual harassing, potential, you know, people pitching companies to them. Come, well, come to our crazy parties, you know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and you'll get an investment. And I mean, that's- Well, power that's America, corrupts. But, yeah. When, especially for power and money, you need mm. very good stomach and intestines. Yeah. If, if yeah. they're not there very strongly, they really, uh, mess up the whole body. That's for so sure. uh, yeah. uh, I don't wish money or fame to people who cannot digest it. It's it's very self-destructive, actually. Yeah. So uh, they, they spread it to other people, like people looking for investment. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, they they also yeah. uh, the people question also the other ones. They put everyone in the same pot, which mm -hmm. is not right, of course. Yeah, so you, you've been successful in business. Are you also investing your, as well? Are you investing in new startups? Uh, I have uh, my all my investment in a medical device company. Therefore, I can only uh, admire the other ones, but not invest yet. 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 Okay. Yet. Sounds but good. It's, it's enough of a challenging business where I am in because it's new for Turkey and its production, and it's, uh, we, were depend we are depending so much on imports of those mm -hmm. items that to produce it in Turkey, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a very challenging project. Ah, okay, so if somebody came to you with a startup that would maybe be a strategic investment to help you get what you need, uh, make it easier to get what you need or at a lower cost, you might, maybe you might Always look at Always open, also there are many companies that come with their startups, with their little, uh, 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 you know, invention. We yeah. are open to those, okay. uh, why not? And uh, I think we will be a hub very soon for those little in, uh, investors or startups to come together since yeah. we uh, sell to 70 different countries. They cannot go and have their distribution or sales in those countries right away. Yeah. But if, uh, uh, if we could Through help you. them exactly in the marketing, why not? All it right. will be a hub. Yeah, there, it will be a, 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 a hub for the new startups. That's what, I'm, what is next for me. Okay. Leila Alenton, thank you for being an inspiration to entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, uh, not just in Turkey, but to people from all around the world like me. Thank you very thank much you. for joining us at the CEO thank Entrepreneurship you. Summit. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Leila Alatin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Cheers.